Hello, this is Lauren and we're live at Flex and this evening we've just had Elephant Man come off stage. The energy was wild. It was crazy. It was just great. Salbona, Elephant Man. Salbona, Salbona. Unjani. Niapila. Ah, we totally lumpana say hi. He's got a real Zulu warrior. <laughs> so how is the, how are you feeling the vibe this evening? Well, the vibe is crazy, you know. It's Europe and you know we do the thing and you don't know it's energy god so it's gonna be crazy and the greatest thing about it like when you're doing a show always let the people get their money's worth and whenever elephant money is in town that's what you're gonna get you're gonna get your money's worth it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be enjoyable it's gonna be something to remember crazy I know this is not the first time that you've been in Vienna. I've seen you, I think it was two years ago. Yeah, and yeah, yeah, yeah. back then it was just as, uh, I don't know how to describe the energy at the time, but this evening came across as a new dimension to me. It was just amazing. It was truly, truly crazy, 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 crazy. <laughs> and like the people, they, they were like, you know, they were like in the show, they were like enjoying themselves and that's the main thing about a show. You always make the people enjoy themselves because it's not about me or you because they pay money to come see me, let them enjoy themselves. So entertain them, you know, and that's what we do. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm fascinated by the name Elephant Man, you know, being an African woman. An elephant is this gigantic, it's this... I mean, an elephant is a beautiful animal. And, you know, we take for granted that we have such amazing uh, creatures. But where did the, the name Elephant Man stem from? Who anointed you with this name? Well, the ladies gave me that name, you know. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> gifted, you know. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Amen, is all I can say. I tell you, I tell you, up, up, hallelujah. <laughs> well, you know, ladies gave me that name and, you know, I'm very proud of that name. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> all I can say is, amen, <laughs> the end. <laughs> well, in terms of your music career, I know you've been on the dancehall scene for, for a very long time. What inspired you pers personally, you know, to take on this, this genre? Well, like, what inspired me is the people, what's happening in the music, what's happening in the world. Like, for instance, I like when my music play, like, I'm not talking my music in general, I'm talking dancehall, the music that I represent. I like when it plays and people can say, yo, I love dancehall music, it's the greatest. You know, whatever, because you've got artists like us doing the work and letting them, you know, bringing across the message, letting them enjoy themselves. You down, you stress, you want to go out and listen to some dancehall music and, you know, just free up yourself, free your mind. The place to be, you just go in the club and tell them to put on that boom dancehall music and it's going to be crazy. So. You know, that's what, you know, keep me motivated. Just seeing people go crazy when you do the songs and the things that you say, tell them about what's going on and tell them how to dance, enjoy yourself. Just live up, you know, just some nice songs, you know, some motivated songs. I personally never thought this day would come where I'd be sitting beside you, actually interviewing you because back home in South Africa, I remember a DJ by the name of Archangel playing one of your tunes and it was it was crazy in the club. You weren't there but just you know your music playing had us going wild. It's 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 really amazing. Well you know we gotta big up Archangel anywhere we at big up everybody in Africa because you know Africa like that's my hometown. I live in Jamaica but you know Africa I've been there a couple of times and it's crazy. I love Africa man trust me. The vibe is crazy in Africa and you don't know Elephant Man, you don't know Africa. We're coming soon, so just look out. Big up to all the fans in Africa. Love your energy, God let you know that. And you don't know, as I said, I just like to do the songs that, you know, people can just relate to and just get crazy. 
Did 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 this is how did this is how we do it. Mashing up the club anytime we run. So put your one them up in the year, make them see. You know, and when you see bad people step up in the club, who know if move so put up do some songs and let the people them enjoy themselves and tell them some stuff that just let them wanna get crazy. That's elephant man, that's what I do. That's that's just me, you know? I don't like to bring out the other side in people. Like you're down, I'm gonna bring out the happy side in you. That's what I do. So we like to do music where make people feel good. I'm not the type. We do all type of music, gangster girl, reality. We do gospel, we do the girl song, dancing song, but you know, for me, I just like do positive stuff, you know? So if it's a dancing song, it's gonna be positive. It's gun, girl, whatever, you understand? Yeah. Well, on a more personal note, I'd like to know what is it that you do when you're not on tour, what is it that you just do as a hobby or, you know, what's your, your pleasurable day? What would you call a day of heaven? Well, my pleasurable day is like, I like to chill, you know, like we go play some football, we play basketball, we go to the beach, we swim, we drink some apple vodka, some Syrac, some Hennessy, you know, and um, or we at the studio wiling out cause like we record songs every day, we do new songs every day. You understand? So if we're not at the studio, and even if we're at the studio, we're at the studio, but we are partying because we got food cooking outside, we got we drinking, we we writing songs, we got you know friends and people just coming from all over and getting in the vibe. So it's crazy. So a day for me like chilling. That's what we do. Either the studio. The beach, football, basketball, or I'm at home cooking and chilling and watching TV because I like to watch movies, you know. I'm a movie freak. Every new movie. Ask me about any movie I can tell you. So I like to watch movies, chill my mind a bit. I like to listen to some love songs. I don't I don't listen to like my own songs. I don't listen to dance or music. I don't like to. I like to when I'm chilling, I take my mind out of dance hall and I like to listen to some R and B some old time souls, you know, that's what I do. Talking about cooking, what is one of the, the, the main Jamaican de delicacies? Well, it's, I, have, I have like five different to choose from. It would be hard to tell you right now, trust me. <laughs> I have so many to choose from, a lot. So, but, you know, as I said, Energy God, I'm a pro, I'm the type of I'm the type of artist where we fun, we loving, we we people person, we like to we like to enjoy ourselves. I make sure I work hard because I'm a September person, so you know. And anything we do, we put our all in it. Not not even we, me. Like anything I do, I put my all in it. You understand? So you know, as I said, when you hear the name Elephant. Just look out for nothing but happiness, love, hype. We're a God-fearing person. Just think about positiveness. Uh, what are your What are your personal interests? Uh, you know, when you when you in your spare time. Well, my personal interests, like you know, I like to I like to. You know, I, I have a lot of dogs. I like animals, so I'm an animal lover. You know, I feed my birds. I have a lot of different dogs. I have like about a hundred dogs. So, I have a pair of every dog. So I like, you know, walk them, go talk to them, chill with them. Birds, all type of different birds. Fishes, yeah, and I like, I like to stay in the comfort zone, you know? Those are the things that when I'm not jumping around and doing music and working hard, those are the things that keep me in my comfort zone. And those are my personal interests. Like, they're like my kids. I always get up and know that I have to buy feeding for my dog. I have to get feeding for my fishes, feeding for my birds. You know, just make sure, you know, everything is at one. And at, you know? Yeah, I'm gonna go back to this question again in terms of like the topic of food. Are you a, a good a great cook <laughs> yeah like if you're gonna talk about food 
Everybody born September can cook. I'm a great cook. I can cook anything. Like, from I was a kid, my mom used to teach me how to cook. So, you know, and growing up in Seaview Garden, you got to know how to cook. When you grow up in the ghetto, everybody from the ghetto can cook, unless you're a lazy-ass person. But everybody can cook. Anything. I'm telling you, I can cook to tie a woman. That's how good it is. <laughs> trust me. Trust me. So, yep. uh, so a way to a man's heart is not through his stomach when it comes to you. <laughs> trust me. Ladies, I'm letting you know I'm that good in cooking. Yeah, man, I'm good in cooking. Trust me. <laughs> um, exactly what part. You have mentioned what part you have grown up, but being that you've come out of this particular neighborhood, ghetto in Jamaica, how would you describe your upbringing in your, in your neighborhood and do you still have a very close relationship to the people that you grew up with? Well, like in Seaview Gardens, yeah, I talk to them, I see them, but you know, sometimes I don't go there like I don't make it a, 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 a daily habit for me to go down there because Sometimes they get to bring problem, like the police. They might say that you might doing stuff that you're not. So it's best you just stay away from problem. So my friends know where to find me. I talk to them. We still link. You know everybody. You know, but sometimes I think that to just stay out of trouble, I just don't go. Sometimes like party in the night, you will go and whatever. You know something keeping your friends keeping something, but I just you know. You know, I have my house up down. I have either my house or my apartments or whatever, whichever one I want to go. And, you know, I think I do enough of that stuff, like going to the garrison and whatever. We still go there and we still whatever, but there's a time in your life where you got to just know how to move. If you don't know, if you don't street smart, you're going to fall hard. So you got to street smart because you don't want nobody come say you're doing stuff that you're not and you plant it you know you're, you're you're buying this and you you supporting gang you know so you just kind of stay away and you let your friends know that look i don't want no problems or whatever so you guys come see me you understand whatever yeah and you know we back in africa and all around the world the issues that uh, that are pertaining to the youth you know youth are in these times of struggles and sometimes we lose hope yeah. and what message of inspiration would you have for them well all I know that like in life I never lose hope because my message to them is just read the Bible just believe in the Almighty that the problem nowadays I don't think that these gen like the gen the generation that we're living in the new generation they don't put their trust and believe and they're 100% in the Lord. If you don't do that, you're going to have problem. I put my trust and everything in the Lord. That's what I do. I believe. I believe that much. Because like, from I was a kid, I was praying, Lord, please let me be one of the biggest artists ever in music. And it happened. So, I don't see no other way than putting your trust in God, reading your Bible, believing talk to him more talk to him more than how you talk to your mother your sister your kid just talk to him just reason with him and you see trust me and in terms of you know the transformation in, of music what would you say has been the change in 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 dance hall from i'd say I'll, i'd round it back to around about the 80s to date well like the change is it's more up tempo and it's more crazier and they sing word by word nowadays. They know every word you say. They know the melody. They know the move. They know like, it's like they put their mind and soul in your body and go inside of you. So when you see them dancing or singing it, you're like, damn, that guy did, he did it the same way I did it, you know? so. It's more like that. In the 80s, they used to move, but they never used to open their mouth a lot. Now, they sing every word, line by line. It's more or less one, one body when, when you're performing. And, well, I'd like to say that your performance this evening for me, and I think the whole Vienna Massive was just 
incredible. I don't know how to describe it. It's the second time we're seeing you here in Vienna. And of course, we'd like to see you back in South Africa, where I'm from. Yeah, we're coming over there in South Africa. We're coming, we're coming, we're coming. Kaboom! Shit. So this was the interview with Elephant Man. Thank you so much for affording us this opportunity to interview you. And yeah, all the best on on your tours, your future tours, on your future projects. And what are we expecting from Elephant Man in future? Well, just expect. Well, I got the, the new album drop in September. Yeah, so that's going to be the last album for VPN. After that, you know, it's another genre again, you know, new label, new everything again. And just expect a lot of hit songs, new songs, a lot of songs tune on top of tune. We in the studio and you know my hobby is recording songs, writing songs, just non-stop. So just expect everything, everything. Nothing change under the weather. Well, thank you, Elephant Man. That was you know. <laughs> Good to go. Shit. Big up everybody. You're watching this station. Don't touch that dial. We'll be right back. Energy God and the first lady. Kaboom shizzle. That's African life and we're out. Peace out. <laughs>